to Mike Valentino from the Gold's Gym staff, to Mike Valentino from the subject, hello Mike, he hope as well, quick note or quick heads up, there's a guy with special needs that who works at the gym, cleans the exercise equipment, treadmills, etc. throughout the day, there's a guy named Michael as I work out and always keep my eye on him, that he tends to clean the machines near me. Anyway, then over the past several months, Michael's behavior has gotten more and more aggressive as an outburst. We currently, I see him walking to behind the treadmills. He kicked the machine and broke it when there's an old lady 65 and over was walking on it and causing her slightly tripped. He kicked abundant bicycles, ordering pizzas, magazines on his cell phone, stealing things out of the office, throw buckets of water, scream, cuss, bite himself, and broke a window. And today, Michael was cleaning a treadmill next to me. He would start beating on the television screen. After that, he pulled the patrol cable between the television screen and keypad and slicing it in two. And he turned that machine off, and he got the out-of-order sign for it. And he turned it off to ease it up. He told me he didn't do it. It broke since he was cleaning it. He went outside mind his own business. And I told your brother Pat about the wire when I was leaving. I am concerned Michael was doing bad things in his feature, hitting himself beat his head on the wall by Pat Valentino and Bruce Kirkman, mail of 2008. North Carolina Division of Vocational Rehab Office, Department of Health and Human Services, progress of you, this report of progress towards going to work. Michael, I received a phone call yesterday from a job coach. Tiffany Rudd started it. You had been terminated from the employer, Gold's Gym. Your termination was due to inappropriate behavior. There had been display on the shoplifting camera We you were at work. On Zimbal's options, he was responsible for wiping down and cleaning the exercise machines where observed by management becoming aggressive when doing so. He also became upset when you were at work and damaged the television. The managers at Gold's Gym also said that during this time. He pushed or tampered with the treadmill and broke it where it was then used by an elderly lady and this caused her to trip and break her leg on the machine. Al Ibishi decided not to report the matter to Greg Carter or the police. Michael, on the options of scat buses being late. You have been observed to hit yourself in the head while on the floor, act up inappropriately because of this behavior. It has led to a termination from Gold's Gym. On the privileged jobs, you have display inappropriate behavior. It has led to a termination from the company. Tiffany Rudd has worked hard with Sister Munch inappropriate behavior when you're at work during a job development and test and training. Michael, this is important that you understand that the location appointment. At this time, it will be putting your case on hold. During this time, you need to get in touch with your mental health provider so it's possible to schedule time for therapy to discuss your behaviors and interactions with others before we begin job development again. If you have any questions, please feel free to tap me at 336-315-2016. Sightly, Deanna Edward. Deanna Edward Cancer Center, May 2008. Report time, 326 p.m. Kitty cat number. Special Olympics newsletter, Country Club newsletter. Steve Robinson asking people for stuff. North Carolina Division of Vocational Rehab Office, Department of Health and Human Services, Progress Review, Distant Report of Progress Toys Going to Work. Michael, I received a phone call yesterday from a job coach. Tiffany Rudd started it. You had been terminated from the employer, Gold's Gym. Your termination was due to inappropriate behavior. That had been displayed on a shoplifting camera when you were at work. On several other options, you were responsible for wiping down and cleaning the exercise machines where reserved by management becoming aggressive when doing so. You also became upset when you were at work and damaged the television. The managers at Gold's Gym also said that during this time. You pushed or tampered with the treadmill and broke it where it was then used by an elderly lady. This caused the trip and break her leg on the machine. However, she decided not to report the matter to Greg Carter or the police. Michael, on the assumptions of scat bus, has been late. You have been observed to hit yourself in the head while on the floor and act up inappropriately because of this behavior. It has led to your termination from Gold's Gym. On the privileged jobs, Harris Teeter and Gold's Gym, you have displayed inappropriate behavior and it has led to your termination from the company. Tiffany Rudd has worked hard with sister and monitoring inappropriate behavior when you're at work, then job development, and testing training. Michael, this is important that you understand that different location appointment. At this time, it will be putting your case on hold. 
There is time you need to get in touch with your mental health provider so it's possible to schedule time for therapy to discuss your behaviors and interaction with others before we begin job development again. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at 336-315-2016. Sightly, Deanna Pop Edward, Deanna Pop Edward Cancer Center, mail in 2008. Record time 3.26 p.m. Kitty cat number. Steve Robinson and Tiffany Pop Rudd. Mm-hmm.